Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. So it's winter season, well not from where I am, but uh, in most of the cities, yes it is. And uh, you know what that means, that means it's uh, mid-year exam season. And that's what we're gonna discuss in this video. I'm gonna tell you how important your mid-year exams are and what you can do to make sure that you ace them. So first of all, mid-year exams are important in the sense that they will tell you exactly where you stand right now. But whatever performance or whatever grade that you get in your mid-year exam, that is not what you will get in your CIA. Because obviously you'll have a lot of time to put in the effort and you know with the extra added pressure, we sort of, we, we end up using that as motivation and that is, that is what becomes our driving force to you know, put in the effort, put in the hours. And that is actually when we really start to learn and that is when we really start catching up. But that doesn't mean that you can just compromise your mid-year exams. Like I said, they will tell you exactly where you stand right now and it will they will also tell you exactly the amount of effort that you need to put in in order to get the desired grade that you want in your ci exam so don't take them lightly you know it's like it's like a good uh, you can say a, a good litmus test to see where you stand what are your weak areas what are your strengths and just just use the result you know use this opportunity to understand where you are right now like i said what your strengths are what your weaknesses are and then use the next four or five months that you have until your ci exam to prepare for the actual exam, the actual exam that really matters accordingly. And you know, even, even though I'm saying that mid-year exams are not really going to tell you what your grade will be in CIS, but for some of you who are opting for early admissions in A-levels, you guys need to have good grades in your mid-year exams, or if not excellent grades, then at least average grades so that you can get that admission, they get the admission in the college that you're looking for, and you know, maybe even land a scholarship or two. So, tip number one. First of all, I know a lot of students make a big deal out of this that they only focus on the topics that they have learned in grade 11 or basically the topics that they have learned recently. Make sure you're not one of them because the topics that you learned recently or the topics that you've learned in grade 11, they're probably a fraction of what's going to come in the entire exam. So don't neglect the topics that you've done in the past. You know, so you've done very important paper two topics already. So make sure that you're focusing on them and uh, you're not entirely stressing on the topics that you've done recently. You also have the entire syllabus in view and make sure you are aware exactly of what the syllabus is and what are the topics that you will be tested on in the mid-year exam. Tip number two, solve yearly pass papers and especially the recent ones because as far as math is concerned, the syllabus has changed. Make sure that you solve the specimen paper also. There are two specimen papers. Make sure that you solve both of them. And if you're an IGCSC student, you know, I would advise you to practice O-level uh, level pass papers for practice and vice versa because the the syllabus more or less is the same the resources that we use is also the same so you don't just be so fixated on your particular paper make sure that you have enough practice material especially for the topics that you find yourself struggling in so that you know it's uh, it's you can get a good amount of practice and you can make sure that you understand the topic well enough and you have all the material to brush up your skills and to, to eliminate whatever weakness it is that you have Tip number three, and that is do not stress over the topics that don't carry a lot of marks, at least for now, at least for as long as you uh, don't have the actual CI exam because I see a lot of students make a big deal out of topics such as symmetry and uh, other topics such as uh, relative frequency. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, as a teacher, I would never say that you should skip a topic. Obviously, you need to cover the entire syllabus, but don't stress over topics that don't carry a lot of marks okay these are two or at max three marks topics so even if let's say you don't do them while and you use this time obviously to focus on the topics that really matter you know especially paper two topics trigonometry statistics i'm talking about math right now and for, for all other subjects i'd suggest you ask your teacher and uh, mensuration and all that so make sure when you solve enough yearly pass papers you'll have an idea as to what are the important paper two topics what are the topics that carry a lot of marks and what topics don't so don't like i said just just focus on the topics for now at least that carry a lot of marks so that you can get an average or even an above average grade and as soon as you're done and you have that break and then when you come back you can focus on the rest of the topics as well so that's it i hope this video helped and uh, make sure that you guys like this video and share this video with uh, your friends classmates and whoever you think can possibly benefit from it 
and I would also like to take this opportunity to announce that my online classes for exams in May June 2025 crash course classes basically are starting from January we'll be starting the registrations from December so make sure that you're following on Instagram and you're subscribed to the channel so that when we announce you don't miss out and uh, these classes will be held live and there will be recorded sessions also in the end there will be a past paper session also of yearly past papers and alongside we'll also be doing topical past papers so we'll be having lots and lots of practice and we're going to be focusing especially on the on the paper pattern that has changed especially for igcse students so that we can make sure that you guys are well prepared for the actual ci exam so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care bye bye